Hola, I'm MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news. Mapalokal man o international. Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo kasi here's a countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. Come on, let's start. All right, for our first topic, it's going to be Mel Gibson. We haven't heard from him in a Bing, while. Bing. Yep, he's going to direct, guess what? Lethal Weapon 5. Bing. Parang naabutan ko, no? Excuse me. Well, I think so, but I was an infant. <laughs> naabutan ko yung Lethal Weapon, but yeah. I don't quite remember it. I, I need a refresher. So basically, Mel Gibson will not just be in front of the camera in the latest Lethal Weapon movie. And since, of course, remakes are in the in the you know in the mix right now, and what people want, yes, it's just high time to remake Lethal Weapon as well. So reports say that Mel Gibson talks to also direct it. He will take over the role of Richard Donner. Who passed away just recently? Donner has been directing Lethal Weapon since it first aired in 1987. Why are you laughing? It's not a joke. But anyway, the movie has always been led by Mel Gibson as LAPD Detective Martin Riggs. This edition of Lethal Weapon will be developed for HBO Max and further details have yet to be announced. And I do hope, since we're in the advent of remaking, that everything's going to be as smooth as Cobra Kai, right? It's such a, I think remaking it was something that was an, not accidental, but surprising hit. Paul Rudd attended the Ghostbusters Afterlife New York premiere, and we're going to talk about that. So fresh from People Magazine, hailing him as the sexiest man alive. <laughs> Paul Rudd spotted during the New York premiere of Ghostbusters Afterlife. He did play the role of Mr. Gruberson in the film. When, when asked by the press on his reaction when he was named the sexiest man, of course, he humbly said that he just thinks of himself as a husband and a father. He also said that he thinks that other people should have gotten the title before him. And other cast members who attended the premiere were the original stars Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Ernie Hudson. So Ghostbusters Afterlife will soon be shown here in the Philippines as well, so do stand by for that. But for number eight... So it's Penelope Cruz to be honored at the Palm Springs International. Yes, actress Penelope Cruz is the recipient of the International Star Award actress for her role in Parallel Mothers. In the movie, she plays one of the two women who share a hospital room where they're going to give birth. Former recipients of the coveted award were Nicole Kidman, Helen Mirren, Sir Ronan, and Charlize Theron. And the award event will be live at the Palm Springs Convention Center. And yes, right now, we're going to talk about this. And I'm sure I'm going to talk about Harry Styles launches his beauty line. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, oh, oh, Harry Styles enters the world of entrepreneurship as he launches his own nine non-binary beauty brand, Pleasing. <laughs> Up for grabs is Pleasing's nail polish. Ding, ding, ding. He also introduced Pleasing Pen, a dual-ended lip and eye serum as well as Pearl Ascent Illuminating Serum. Ding, ding, ding. Which of those are you buying? Ding, ding, ding. Are they available in Boots or Sephora? Ding, ding, ding. Let me know. To those who are interested, of course, you can still pre-order now. Just check out the details of the Instagram page of Pleasing. And I wonder why it's pleasing, right? But Harry has an interview with Dazed. And do check that out if you want to know more. This is a big deal. <laughs> Deserves an applause even before I say it. <laughs> And yeah, it's Sesame Street who introduced an Asian American puppet. <laughs> See, this serves an applause even before I said it. So Sesame Street makes history as it introduced its first Asian American Muppet. And the hit kids show welcomes Ji Young, a Korean American. Ding, ding, ding. Aside from welcoming Ji Young to his family of puppets, the show announces a new TV special that celebrates Asian and Pacific Islander community. It will feature celebrity guests like Simu Liu, 
Melissa King, and Ayomi Asaka. And according to Sesame Workshop's Executive Vi Vice President for Creatives in Production, this move is in line with their mission to empower children and families of all races, ethnicities, and colors and culture to help them value their unique identities. Before we move on, we want to say happy birthday to Chang Marga Vargas. Happy birthday, Chang Marga. God bless you. And of course, I just want to say hi to the All in Addicts. This week, na 11th month na sa Long one year na tayo. Long, long term. Pa long term na tayo. Anyway, guys, before 15 p.m. on One News, we place at 10 on 1 p.h. You can also read up on One News. ph if you want to catch the text version of this. This time, there's a documentary about Barney, which is in the works. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, so halfway on the show, this is our topic. Peacock has just started production for a three-part documentary about Barney. Ding, ding, ding. The project will narrate and explain the popularity of Barney, a beloved children's character, in which, in the recent years, has also become a target of hate in pop culture. Ding, ding, ding. The documentary will be streamed in Peacock soon, and it's important because it's important to also... um. To tell people and open up this kind of conversation why such happened to Barney. Pagod na ako. <laughs> ano araw na ba? <laughs> why are you laughing again? Just kidding. No, I'm talking about the new re newly released single of Janine Burden. That is the title. <laughs> J J Janine Burden leaves a lasting reminder to take a break when life gets overwhelming in her la latest self pen single, Pagod Na Ako. Produced by former The Voice Kid alumnus Juan Carlos Sabajo, the new star music release lyrically encapsulates the raw emotions of being drained by one's circumstances. And that happens to us in any, in any uh, facet of life, right? Uh, we get torn, burned out, uh, even in parenthood work life in general so that's that's a nice song her latest single is now available under star music also she performs as, uh, in asap natin to which airs on tv5 but for now for number three have robert Lome dies at the age of 73 so opm icon passed away after his blood pressure dropped he was 73 his brother Jose Bartolome confirmed the news in a radio interview. He was rushed, and of course, it was at the Veterans Hospital when he passed away quietly. Uh, he is known as a poet, painter, and singer. His iconic songs include Tayo y Mga Pinoy, Nena, and Pasajero. He also formed a band called Banyuhay uh, with his brothers. So rest in peace. Well, shifting to Again, some music news. It's Bruno Mars. Haven't heard from him in a while as well. And Anderson Pack dropped a collab album. It's the moment we've been waiting for all year. An evening with Silk Sonic has arrived. The multiple Grammy Award winners Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack have finally dropped their debut album, Silk Sonic, with help from special guest Bootsy Collins. The album includes the three previously released charts hits, Leave the Duck Open. <laughs> and smoking out the window alongside five unreleased tracks Filipino hooligans are in for a treat as Warner Music Philippines together with Magic 899 are hosting a listening party over at the station head on November 20 Saturday 7pm Philippine time it is now available in digital platforms under Warner Music and for number one forever you and me Dennis Dillion and Jenlyn Mercado finally tie the knot. That was a caption, guys, of Jenlyn Mercado when she posted their photo of Dennis Trillion in a now-deleted Facebook post. It was the admin of the Facebook page, which was verified. The Jenlyn Mercado, I think the fans or the admin was so excited to share that, that she shared it at the wrong time. Ding, ding, ding. So, yeah, it was a civil ceremony while the couple was in matching white tuxes. And recently, they just announced their engagement and, of course, their baby on the way. Congratulations to Jenilyn and Dennis. And I do hope that uh, that was God's perfect timing of announcing it. But I know you had other plans. Maybe this was the best. But everyone's just 
joyous for both of you. So guys, we do know the drill. Just stay safe from COVID. Get vaccinated. Uh, wear your mask properly. Buy face shield. That's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, mga kapatid. Makalis na mag-count on Mondays to Fridays, 4.15 p.m. on One News with Replace at 10 p.m. on One PH. I'm MJ Marpuri. It is always a pleasure joining you guys. This is Celebrity Top 10. Until tomorrow!